top 10 unique experiences that you must have when in Kerala. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm going to take you to some of the most scenic parts of Kerala and enjoy unforgettable experiences. We are going to explore the beautiful valleys of Munnar, a houseboat ride from Alipi to Kochi and a luxury stay at Taj Kumarakom. And of course, enjoying traditional Kerala style sadhya. Munnar is known for its tea plantations and you can actually walk into these tea plantation farms. Some of them also offer a guided tour of the farm and explain the process of making tea, from tea leaves to powder. Munnar is a popular hill station in Kerala and the winters here just hit different. In fact, weather almost all through the year is pretty pleasant. Many resorts have a great view of the mountains like the one I'm staying in. This is Ambadale Resort and this is the view that I get from my room. While visiting the tea plantations, you can also dress up as a tea maiden. A shirt, lungi and this thick cloth here that protects you so that you don't get any cuts and bruises from the branches and a scarf. This basket hangs over the head like this and this is how you break the tea leaves and collect them in the basket behind. And this basket is actually quite heavy even when it's completely empty. This here is a big tea chopper for chopping the leaves. You can also buy tea here. This is a local brand called Ripple and they have so many different flavors. Just a few hours ahead from these tea plantations are spice farms. This is in Thikadi and this place is famous for their spice plantations. This is Andakara Spice Farm and Ayurveda Garden and here you can get a guided tour of the entire farm. Witness so many different forms of spices and also the aroma from them. This is fresh cardamom, this is a bay leaf tree, coffee pods, wild brinjal, wild ginger and so many others. You will also find a few tourist spots in Thekri. One of them is the Periyar Tiger Reserve. And you can explore this national park in a jeep safari or an elephant ride or even a boat ride. There is a 45 rupees entry for the park and you have to take this bus to get in. And inside you get the boating ticket which is approximately rupees 255 for the upper deck. And this ride lasts for about an hour and a half. You might spot some elephants, deer and many species of birds. Kerala is known as the Venice of the East because of the huge number Number of lagoons, canals and backwaters here. And you can get different kinds of boating experiences too. A typical Kerala houseboat provides a relaxed experience while enjoying great view and food. If you want to know more about the houseboat stay and the prices, you can watch the video given in the description box below. It's detailed. You can also ride a Shikara boat here, which costs about rupees 1000 per hour. And the best season to get a houseboat experience is any time after September or monsoon. The houseboat I am in costs about rupees 5 to 7000 for 3 hours. And the package for an overnight stay starts from rupees 8500. And the bigger houseboats, which offer a cruise like experience, cost about rupees 20,000. You can find more information about these packages online as well and select a package that works best for you. Package rates do differ from peak season to off season so do keep that in mind. I have also stayed in a houseboat and this is the one I spent a night in. A premium modern houseboat with a dining area, bedroom, bathroom and a lobby. One can also enjoy an authentic Kerala style meal on the houseboat itself. This is sadhya, which is served in a very traditional way on a banana leaf. This is sambar, rice, sabzi, dal, raita, papar, cabbage thoran and banana chips. Houseboats can also take you from one place to another. And here I am travelling from Alipi to Kochi in this houseboat. I have a detailed video on this which will be in the description box below. Now we are at Port Kochi and there is so much to explore here. But first, let's go get some food. This is Shri Krishna Cafe and this place is about 75 years old and it's famous for their masala dosa, puri, 
dahi vada and cutlet there are many restaurants here with a similar name so make sure you go to the original one this one is in the matancheri area and you will find the location link in the description box this is their masala dosa masala is quite spicy and here i've ordered puri and sabzi you can choose between an aloo sabzi and a matar sabzi or a peas sabzi and you can also choose between a bhatura and a puri and this is actually white peas this is dahi vada it almost looks like a medu vada and the dahi has a tempering of mustard this is veg cutlet and this is their ghee roast dosa which is literally glazed with ghee and finally ending it with your filter coffee this is one of the most scenic cafes of kochi kashi art cafe and this place has such a unique vibe everything is so artistic i have got this cucumber spinach juice and this tastes just like it sounds if you want something healthy then this one is for you this is a farmer's omelet and there are some veggies stuffed in this like mashed potatoes tomatoes capsicum and except for the potatoes the veggies are raw so they do add a nice crunch and with the omelet on the side we have some baked beans this is homemade granola and fruits and it comes in a jar like this there's some yogurt granola cereal and a lot of fruits the yogurt is beautifully smooth and the fruits and granola add a nice bite this is mixed fruit cube lemonade and it is just so pretty and colorful there are pieces of apple watermelon mint flax seeds and they add such a refreshing flavor to this lemonade i really enjoyed this right next to the art cafe are these chinese fishing nets it's a fishing technique which is unique to this area and has been practiced since many centuries in kochi you can also buy fresh fish here and they cook it as per your taste so you can relish this delicacy on the spot this is saint francis church one of the oldest european churches in india and vasco da gama's remains were put to rest in this church Here we have a special Kerala sadhya. Sadhya is a feast that is usually enjoyed during Onam, but since we are in Kerala, we can have it any time. This I'm having in a restaurant called BTH Sarovaram. The food is served on a banana leaf, and when hot food is served on it, it activates some antioxidants and certain flavoring agents, which enhance the taste and the nutritional value of the food. The food is also served in a certain order, and you're supposed to start eating from your right and then move to your left. And this whole meal has all the different tastes food can have: sweet, sour, spicy, salty, and even bitter. The water here has some Ayurvedic powder in it, so let's start. Start with that. My favorite way to enjoy dal and rice is to crush papad on it like this. With this, there is pickle and kalan. It is basically pumpkin in a yogurt-based gravy. This is avial. It's like a mixed veg sabzi. This is thoran. There is raw banana and beans in it. And this is chickpea and potato sabzi. Because this is a special Kerala thali, we also get chapati and mixed veg sabzi. This is rasam and this is payasam, which is a sweet dish made from jaggery, coconut milk, and rice. And it's usually eaten with a mashed banana in it. Just two hours away. from kochi is kaladi and this place is special because it's the birthplace of adi shankar acharya and this is the temple if you visit kochi then definitely spend some time here kerala banana chips are a legit delicacy this is five star hot chips and they make fresh banana chips here the bananas go in the chopper and then straight into the oil where they are deep fried and here we have crispy chips ready there are many flavors over here this is peri peri this is black pepper these are made from ripe bananas and they taste but sweeter these are red chili flavored ones these here are jackfruit chips and these are the biggest chips i have ever seen tapioca chips Kerala never fails to impress when it comes to such tasty food and beautiful weather. But if you want to make this journey even more relaxing, then you can try the Kerala style Ayurvedic treatments as well. This is Soma Thiram near Kovalam. You can stay here, get therapies and enjoy their healthy food. They also have a really beautiful view. This is their private beach and this view itself can make you feel relaxed. This is the oldest Ayurvedic treatment center of India and you can check the links in the description box below for more information on the treatments here. Another place where you can get Ayurvedic treatments is Krishnendu Ayurveda Hospital in Alappi. Let me show you all the treatments that I got here. This is Abhyanga where a herbal oil is rigorously massaged on the entire body and this helps with headaches. joint pain and fatigue this is potli therapy the potlis or sacks are filled with powdered herbs dipped in warm oil and applied on the entire body this is takradhara a continuous stream of buttermilk flows on the forehead and it feels so relaxing the smell of buttermilk might cause some discomfort but a few minutes into this therapy and you will easily forget about it this is nasya therapy it is also a step in panchakarma and it begins with a face massage and steam they put a few drops of oil in the nose after that you have to inhale the smoke from the 
this medicated roll. This helps with sinus and other breathing issues. This is Udvartana, which is a dry powder massage, and it can be followed by a milk bath and getting some steam. This is the traditional steam box. Steaming helps to move toxins from the body and increases blood circulation. This is Janovasti and is very beneficial for knee pain. And this is Netra Tarpan. Warm ghee is poured on the eyes like this and you have to blink slowly and take it in. About 20 minutes later, they remove the ghee and guide us to some breathing exercises. This is a great place to experience Ayurvedic therapies. The place has it all. Simple food, clean air and mental peace. A Kerala trip is incomplete without experiencing backwaters and the backwaters in Poover are just breathtaking. You will find all the beautiful elements of Kerala in one place, which is Poover. Backwaters, coconut trees, the beach and tasty Kerala cuisine. Poover is just one hour away from Thiruvananthapuram airport and these are the gorgeous backwaters. That over there is an estuary where the river meets the sea and these here are floating restaurants. That there is a village and ahead of all of these are coconut trees and mangroves. Poover is pretty underrated in my opinion. Close to Poover is Balarampuram and it's famous for its handloom factories which is what I'm visiting here. Here they're making uniforms. This is the richest temple in India, Sri Padmanabha Swami temple. It is dedicated to Lord Vishnu and the dress code here is very strict. Saris or skirts for women and lungis for men. Videography and photography is not allowed inside. If you want more information about this temple and day trips from Poover then you can see my Poover vlog which has all of these details. This is the serene Vembanad Lake which I'm enjoying from Taj Kumarakom. Here I stayed in a pool view room and this is the room, the dressing table, my bed, a work desk and in front of that this view. Not only this but even the bathroom has a gorgeous view and there's also an open shower. Here I tried this special Kerala combo meal which was a great way to experience a lot of the cuisine in one go. But what stood out for me is a boating experience in the Vembanad Lake. This ride goes on for probably an hour every evening and it is arranged by the Taj Kumarakom team itself. Right next to Taj Kumarakom is also a bird sanctuary which you could visit. So these were all the unique experiences that I've had in Kerala and I think you should enjoy them as well. If you want to travel, explore and try new things, then Kerala is the place for you. Check the description box for more information on all of these places. I have individual detailed videos on each of these and you can check them out if you're planning a trip to a particular destination. If you are planning a Kerala tour with your friends and family, then make sure you share this video with them and hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel for more travel destinations. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!